hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome I've had a number of members ask some fairly basic questions uh, about TradeStation that are new to TradeStation so I'll just answer their uh, questions specifically in this short recording uh, so if this is uh, not for advanced uh, TradeStation users you'll be very well aware of what I'm about to show you uh, as always traders I do need to show you the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, as members you've seen this disclaimer on every one of our videos so please uh, if you haven't read the disclaimer for some time please pause and read the disclaimer let's uh, get straight to what I wanted to show you now first of all uh, as with any uh, indicator any software program today whether it be MT4 whether it be TradeStation Ninja Trader uh, multi charts if you're looking for a specific video or instructions on how to do something like YouTube as an app is is really just a complete university today so here I've just typed in how to install oops spelling error there uh, TradeStation indicators and uh, here we've got a whole range of stuff has come up on TradeStation now with virtually every trading platform now the manufacturers of a software developers provide some excellent training videos so with TradeStation there's the university uh, there I think they call it the TradeStation University huge amount of videos they run regular webinars on how to install how to optimize your software so I'd really recommend if you're new to TradeStation uh, or any platform you're using take the time to learn how they work or how your program works because it'll just make life a lot easier we're, look if you look at it this way we're like tradespeople if we're say a carpenter or, or um or a dentist or a surgeon we need to know how to use our tools and how to get the best out of them our trading platform is probably our most valuable tool that we have so please take the time and learn how to use it now the first uh, question I had here let me minimize this for a moment is how to install the indicator so very simply on the my or in the members area you'll see on the left hand side they're trading indicators where you can download the indicator so I've just downloaded one trade station indicator now by the way anyone that asks me for support on MT4 or ninja trader um, I've never used those trading platforms so I'd be directing you directly to YouTube uh, I do provide some links um, but if you go to YouTube virtually everything you can imagine is there or Google it um, and uh, I'll, <laughs> there's just some great stuff there on you name it it's it's on there free of charge um, so with TradeStation indicators very simply download them put them uh, here we can see I've got it on my desktop you would simply click on it I've already got TradeStation open by the way I would then go next and I just simply go finish and it will automatically upload into TradeStation so it's simply I won't go through a process because I've already got it there so it automatically uploads so let's then go and have a look at where they are now let me just uh, find it first of all for you um, where are we here this uh, just one moment okay so what we then do is I'll go up to just get a large I would right click and then we've looked down here insert analysis analysis technique sorry I'm losing my voice it's been a long long day uh, so we simply click on insert analysis technique and all of your indicators here now I've got hundreds and hundreds of them as most of you are aware and I've designed hundreds so you're not going to have this anywhere near this many and once again with the indicators that you get from me and the setups you shouldn't be looking for any more you've got everything you need in the day traders fast track program your show me's etc so um, as an example here uh, let's see here um, you've got basically uh, what have we got here under the paint bar you'll see the super scalper Ray super scalper is under the paint bar so just have a good look around here so Ray super scalper um, and just go and have a look at all of these okay your indicators anyway they're all here so it's simply uh, right click on them install them it's very very straightforward once again this is really basic stuff I want you to spend some time in learning how to use TradeStation now for indicator settings I do want to show you this and this has also come up as a question so we right click on the chart format symbol okay likewise right click if we insert analysis technique format symbol we click on that 
now in this particular case I'm going to explain how to set up your Renko because in over the next two days I'm actually doing a couple of or maybe one video it may run into two videos on using Renko charts and some very nifty things that'll I think make trading a lot easier for many of our traders so we can see here you've got a range of different types of charts now for um, for tick by the way the question was on the tick here we go 233 so you put in the tick then the amount of bars back or the days back okay so that's where you set up how many days now here I've got 5,000 bars back okay uh, and you can go at times I might go two weeks two days is not enough so two weeks back I can go two weeks back on tick but what I do want to show the trade station users here is we're looking at CL here so we're looking at the black gold at oil crude uh, and I'm using the custom setting here I want to make sure I've got two weeks back notice here 0 0.02 and brick offset uh, 0 0.01 now normally when you get a classic uh, uh, Renko you don't have what we call an overlay now notice here how these candles are one tick now this is actually ten dollars or one tick below for the next one to form so this is actually a unique custom uh, um, Renko now you can use a standard Renko now the other thing with the Renko I'm using which I personally like to see I like to see the tails because one criticism I have of Renko is in setting my stops if I want to put my stop a tick above or below a swing low or swing high uh, if you don't have the tail showing you can't see where that swing high may be as an example here if we take this low here if you didn't have the tail showing there or even here you might have set your stop here and it may tick up and take you out so uh, how you do that just going back to this and I know once again for my advanced members this is basic stuff but for newer members they want to see this under style where it says tool wick color okay and if you're going to use this setting all the time simply set as default so by the way if you're going to alter any indicator set it as default go okay okay and so there we've got so you can adjust the thickness uh, make it thinner or thicker or whatever I just like to see the tails um, now what I also have here is an ATR stop and flip uh, anyway your, your main indicator you want to use here anyway is the trigger line which is our blue line which is the eight but I'm going to explain all of this uh, members in the video because using the uh, the Renko this way it is very flippin cool okay <laughs> um, um, promise you you're gonna find it very interesting so here what we've got our T1 our 34B we've got our 89B what the Renko does quite frankly it gives you uh, a very clean looking chart now there are some uh, some drawbacks on it some traders don't like it um, uh, let me just see if I've got here now but by the way for the same time period this is the 89 tick so but this is the globex session this is the uh, the 89 tick and the same session here if we just go back here this is the Renko okay so this is the Renko section you can see there now on the tick candles and of course candles and I'm going to be explaining this in the video the candles are based on price range not volume uh, not time like time based charts but I'm, I'm going to explain all of that in the in the uh, recording that I post now as a reminder let me just show you where this is going to be posted so log into uh, my Google Drive traders and you will see new as a, a tab a, um, a folder called new recordings now I'm doing new videos each week so as I upload uh, new videos you can see these well you can't really see them there but they're actually new recordings is trade logs is diagrams is ebooks as I um, upload new material I put it in this folder and leave it there for a period of time before I then put it in one of these other folders now as a reminder for newer members as one member said to me a few days ago there is a treasure trove of information on my Google Drive so there's ebooks 
there's folders there's research reports there's um, uh, just tons of material back tested reports so take your time in going through every one of these folders futures trading there's forex trading uh, think or swim there's um, uh, there's even a folder there is it one there's one there on trade station may have some additional indicators in there so once again traders spend some time uh, going through I've got specific um, uh, videos here on Renko chart trading now Renko we're going to be talking a lot about over the next few weeks uh, once again those videos in the members only videos will be put into the members only area so traders um, uh, you're going to see a lot more happen or a lot more appear on trading with Renko now as I mentioned this is the globex session so this is actually 4 46 p.m. Uh, in Australia as we were about to head into the London session in an hour or so so this is today's price action on uh, the black gold on oil now on the NQ I'll show you this so this is the NQ on the Renko as well and I'll be explaining the settings that I really like uh, in the videos but what I want to show you here on the NQ for the smaller traders that uh, for my USA friends and Canadian friends and even my friends uh, in Europe uh, there are some great opportunity so this is uh, since 9 a.m. Australian time we can see here there's been some great divergence trades some great t7s just some great trading opportunities look at this one here look at that for a 2d it is a I haven't even marked that up there at a great 2d there was our 89 uh, bounce now just remember once it hits about 2 p.m. onwards it gets very very quiet until about 5 p.m. Uh, just before London opens and then it really starts to pick up as we then head into the New York session so if you want a cleaner chart so we can see what Renko looks like there compared to a tick chart here now by the way this is a 144 tick uh, chart so during the London session or during the globex session or after hours uh, in the US I recommend you consider uh, a 30 sorry a 55 tick NQ or uh, follow what you're going to see in this video the Renko settings there because it's uh, very very sexy sorry ladies that's not meant to sound offensive to anyone hope it's not um, so you'll see more on that so look I've pretty much covered the questions that I had once again uh, right click format symbol uh, just make sure there of course that under settings you've got enough data otherwise some of the indicators won't uh, the indicators won't plot uh, Google anything you want to know uh, look on YouTube but don't get caught up in buying stuff the only uh, indicators you really need to purchase traders maybe you want to go and buy the too smooth stochastic but there's lots of places now if you go and Google you can get it free so I've got a too smooth stochastic if you want to buy this I've you can buy my floor pivots well not my floor pivots but the floor pivots and the too smooth from Roy Kelly but drop me an email if you want to know where to get those he's done a special deal I think it's $199 my members can if if you want Roy's um, uh, floor pivots and the two smooth you can get those the only other indicators you might want to purchase traders are perhaps range charts or tick charts for mt4 and of course in the members area under indicators you will see the a link to a third party uh, provider now I don't get anything no commissions or anything like that I don't even know the gentleman but many of our members go and buy his range uh, bar plug-in or his tick and I think it's about 50 US dollars for a lifetime license well worth having I love range um, uh, on Forex but uh, I also love uh, Renko and once again we're going to cover a lot more Renko and just as a little teaser on Renko so what I've been doing here is putting together a whole lot of information on the Renko charts and I'm going to be running through and showing you more of these now my trade station viewers watching this uh, you'll be very very interested in these and also even some of the uh, I've been working on Renko for many years and I haven't been trading using Renko but um, uh, because I really love my tick and my range charts however there are huge benefits 
of Renko particularly for newer traders or if you're finding a normal chart messy uh, your Renko charts um, it can really solve a whole lot of problems for you they really can more on those uh, I'm going way over time on this uh, so hopefully this has answered the questions uh, on trade station indicators and setting the time frames thank you traders